now that we know what postmodernism is all about let's bring in family let's discuss postmodernism under the heading of family diversity the first thing first according to the postmodernist approach which sounds very different from all the other perspectives that we've already discussed earlier a family is whatever people want it to be or in other words if anyone thinks they can have a relationship or they could have a family with someone of the same sex let that be accept that embrace that if someone thinks they would like to form a family on their own being a single mother they might as well be accepted and embraced right now this postmodernist perspective that we are all referring to over here this postmodernist perspective kids they reject the idea that the family are they, they reject the idea as a, of a family that it conventionally is like they believe people construct relationship in ways they believe are acceptable and acceptable and appropriate it is individuals who decide what the family should be like it is an individuals who think if a, if two individuals if more than two individuals think a family should be in this particular manner you might as well accept it show acceptance towards it right moving on people construct relationship in ways they believe are acceptable and appropriate family groups therefore are seen as structures in which individuals play out their personal life stories or narratives remember when i was discussing postmodernism a couple of minutes back what i had said was according to postmodernists they're against meta narratives when i talk about postmodernists being against meta narratives on the other hand they believe that individuals in their lives have their own personal life stories which they are referring to as narratives now someone's life story someone's way of living his life with whoever they want to if it works out well for them that does not necessarily mean it it, it would work out well for everyone else right now in contrast to the new right perspective remember the new right perspective is on very strong as is, 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 uh, the new right perspective very strongly supports the idea of a traditional family of a nuclear family according to the new right perspective in contrast to this postmodernist perspective a new right uh, a nuclear family is the best way as to how individuals should be forming families however over here the postmodernist perspective they focus on the amount of choice we have they believe this increased amount of choice that individuals have today, especially when you talk about modern industrial societies, this choice should be made use of. People should be allowed to form their families whatever way they want to form, form their families like. People increasingly make behavioral decisions that suit their particular needs, desires and circumstances. Just because a particular family form is in accordance to their needs their desires and their circumstances that doesn't at all mean all other people around in the society should be following the same right regardless of what others may think or believe in according to the postmodernist perspective if a particular family farm is set according to the needs desires and circumstances of a family in this case that particular family shouldn't really worry or care or think about what others feel about them. One, number two. Now I've written okay over here, guess what? This point that postmodernists have come up with over here doesn't really work out well globally. Yes, in many parts of the developed world, it does work, it works quite well. However, we have some developing countries like ours and we have some underdeveloped countries as well, where this might seem like or this might sound like an over exaggerated form of reality which might not even be reality for them right in postmodern societies every family people work out their personal choices and lifestyles as they best can moving on Let's move on towards this postmodernist Judith Stacy. According to Judith Stacy, every family is an alternative family. I mean, why is it that we refer to the uh, or we why is it that we refer to 
let's just say the nayar family as an alternative family every family is different and every family should be accepted as an alternative family form according to elkins postmodern families have been characterized of many different family forms like a nuclear family today postmodernism today today according to the postmodernist perspective we should show acceptance towards a nuclear family we should show acceptance towards a two parent working family we should show acceptance towards single parent or towards reconstituted families towards adopted child children towards test tube uh, uh, families and of course this is an example of nrt that is new reproductive technologies moving on surrogate motherhood and co-parenting all of these are different family forms that do exist in developed countries if you talk about uk you would come across a lot of families that are like this and in that case why is it that just because someone's family form doesn't actually go in line with our family form or what we think or what we deem to be acceptable we simply reject it according to the postmodernist perspective there's no single correct way of being a family you forming your family the way you like it to be let someone else form the family the way they want it to be like according to them they remember criticizing the functionist approach over here and they're criticizing the feminist approach over here they're criticizing the marxist approach over here remember the functionist approach the functionist perspective keeps on focusing or talking about the functions that a family performs the feminist perspective keeps on talking about the amount of oppression women have to face within family life and according to the marxist perspective it is the economic structure that is exploiting it is the economic structure that continuously constantly keeps on exploiting family farms these are all remember modernist perspectives according to the postmodernist perspective they do not really accept all of this according to the postmodernist perspective we have more of options today guess what these more of options should be celebrated rather than being frowned upon these differences should be celebrated these differences or these different family forms should be readily accepted Family diversity should be accepted either because it points towards an optimistic change in the family roles and relationship or because we powerless to prevent it. Moving on. We all know we have globalization here. We all know that we have access and exposure to new value systems, new societies, new ideas, new family farms because of globalization, because of the rapid amount of growth in technolo technology, because of easy access to internet. Today, sitting over here in a country referred to as a third world country, we know about what the likes are, what the dislikes are, what the value systems are like, what the belief systems are like, how different people in different parts of the world form their families. According to postmodernists, this constant access or exposure to new ideas, for example, through globalization, make people question traditional ways of thinking and behaving. Custom and tradition, the way things have always been done, have less influence than they once did. Because today, the amount of societal pressure that we had once has reduced. This might not really sound like it works for Pakistan over here, but guess what? We have parts of the world where this seems pretty appropriate, where this seems pretty acceptable, legal and otherwise. Getting back to this, diversity follows from the awareness and freedom to make different choices. How do you think we'd have diversity if you do not have freedom, if you do not have the liberty for that diversity? You have to have freedom, you have to have liberty. This liberty would make you avail the choices you have. If you do not have the freedom to avail these choices, these choices are no good to you. Getting back to this again, diversity follows from the awareness and freedom to make different choices, including ones that were once not allowed, such as divorce and same-sex families. Today, we do know the amount of negative stigma that was attached to divorce once has reduced. Divorce is considered to be a lifestyle choice by many in the Western world. Guess what? 
things are changing in our part of the world as well things are changing in our south asian societies as well and the amount of negative stigma that was attached to divorce one is reducing in our part of the world as well today people are showing acceptance towards divorces i hope everyone gets this moving on same-sex families are allowed in many parts of the world they're acceptable they have legal recognition I hope everyone gets this. Moving on, traditional types of family relationships such as marriage in general coexist with new form. It's not that we just have people forming newer family forms. They do exist. The old ones are there. The new ones are there. Even if you speak about a country like the UK, even if you're speaking about the UK, we do know that these different family forms, these newer family forms, they do coexist. The old ones are there. And the new ones are just trying to blend in. Remember, we're talking about acceptance. Remember, we're talking about embracing different family forms. I don't say that. The postmodernists do. Moving on. Traditional types of family relationships such as marriage and children coexist with new forms, such as not having children or living apart, LATs, while maintaining family relationships. As exposure to different cultural ideas increase, what was once new and exotic becomes more acceptable this like i said is questionable this like i said might be true for some people in some societies in some parts of the world but then again this is not acceptable in many others this again does not really fit into the cultural value system of many countries on the basis of religion on the basis of culture on the basis of uh, on the basis of customs traditions norms get it i hope we all do moving on does everyone accept these changes in family forms let's talk about the people in uk again like I said, UK is a multicultural country. You have people pouring in across the globe. We have members from different ethnicities. There are members from different ethnic groups. Oh, yes, there are people who show acceptance towards us. But at the same time, we need to be careful. We need to keep this in mind that there are still social groups from different ethnicities who do not agree to this who are not ready to show acceptance towards this. And hence, we have two different extremes over here. On one extreme, we have people, as a book refers to them as, we, they're talking about us actually, the people who keep old-fashioned values such as marriage as a way of reinforcing a particular ethnic identity in a rapidly changing and confusing world. They're talking about us, they're talking about South Asians, they're talking about Pakistanis, Indians and Bengalis. However, on the other hand, if we talk about another extreme, we have people, we have different social groups, we have members from different ethnicities who have started embracing or showing acceptance towards these newer family forms. The acceptance that we see today for single parenthood, for divorcees, this on the other extreme like i said we have two different extremes over here right on at one point we have people who do not agree to this who do not accept this the south asians and on the other extreme we have people who are showing acceptance towards this for instance afro-caribbeans members of white ethnicities i hope that's sorted taking it ahead Postmodern approaches to the family have drawn attention to the many changes in family life and relationship in some modern industrial societies. The older theories still seem to be about time and places where these changes have not happened. Yes. The strength of postmodernism is that it is open to recognizing the many ways people live their lives. This is what we've been speaking about all along. The acceptance that the postmodernists are showing towards any and every family form. According to them, remember, 
the circumstances of one would be different from the circumstances of another the choices of one would be different from the choices of another the value system one holds would be different from the value system someone else holds if there are differences there why can't we have differences in terms of family farms to remind you all again i don't say this the postmodernists do yeah moving on the strength of postmodernism is that it is open to recognizing the many ways people live their lives and that it can break away from a narrow focus on the family to the widest subjects of relationship and personal lives. This has been criticized as well. We talking about postmodernists claiming there is diversity. Guess what? We don't really see that diversity except and acceptance in our parts of the world. To us sitting over here in a South Asian country, this sounds like an over-exaggeration of how things are like. There are many people who do not have the liberty, who do not have the choice, who do not have this as an option. Why talk about people where we have many societies where this is something that is not considered to be acceptable? People today even today people live in conventional type of families like our families the nuclear family remains the goal of many even if for many people then is the past marriage comes later and does not last for life the greater diversity of family life is also a feature of more industrial societies there's less diversity on the whole in developing countries like i said let's put things straight in a developed country we might come across a lot of diversity however on the other hand if we speak about what did I say? Wait, let me say that again. In a developing country, we might not come across a lot of diversity. However, on the other hand, in contrast, if we're referring to a developed country, a country like the UK, yes, we do see diversity there. But just because it is happening in the UK and other developed countries, doesn't at all mean it is happening everywhere. Us sitting over here for the fourth time, it isn't happening over here. It is something that's not acceptable over here. Moving on. In many of which strong family ties often with strong pressure to marry young and for life and with fairly fixed gender roles they still remain strong these gender roles that were once very segregated which were once different for males and at the same time different for females it is how they still are today i hope we get this and this is a tiny tiny little quick call it a lecture call it revision call it whatever you want to this is or this was from page number 98 and page number 99 from our cambridge indos book the idea was to give you a quick little idea about what the prose modernist perspective thinks or feels about family diversity i hope this helps